let's talk about some of the important and expected topics under science and technology in the previous part we had already discussed some of the important topics let's talk about the remaining topics in these class so one is mangroves now mangroves the carbon sequestration is one of the major things mangroves are valued for now these mangroves have been receding because of the sea level changes and it is expected by 2020 uh, 2070 there would be a lot of seaward uh, landward displacement of these mangroves so protection and rehabilitation becomes an important topic the next is liquid crystal display fabrication now this liquid crystal display actually have some uh, undesirable material and dust particles which uh, interfere with the display operations and produce electrostatic charges so to prevent that this liquid crystal is actually a unidirectional planar alignment of the liquid crystals and to prevent that there has been a technology using hbn nanoflakes and this material has been found more useful and reduces the dust interference and the problem of electrostatic charges the next is the csir niscpr which is a leading publicly funded science communication and policy research institute now this has brought various nearly 16 journals on science and technology and all of them have been reputed with science uh, citation index the ugc care certification and also uh, the journal which is ijbb is a monthly premier peer reviewed journal in the subject of biochemistry biophysics and biotechnology uh, which is being brought by it the next is the crispr gene editing now crispr gene editing is one of the technologies that had brought a uh, nobel prize for itself the idea is the gene sequence is cut the slicing of it is done and this slicing could be connected to other dna and therefore this gene editing we are actually editing the gene cutting and joining it to something else as simple as that so there is cas9 enzyme and this cas9 enzyme is an important ingredient which can target and cut any foreign dna so there are various binding trials related to it and therefore it becomes very very important to understand so so far this was made possible only at optimal temperatures but now even for cryophiles which are very very temperature sensitive this technology can be brought into account a recent technology has been developed by iit madras where super abrasive of tools uh, have been uh, created with a controlled spacing of the grid and this has advanced uh, chemical bonding technology which has been brought empri which is the advanced material and process research institute at bhopal is now uh, creating tiles from red mud now these tiles are not normal tiles these tiles are x ray shielding tiles so could be used in the diagnostic x ray centers in ct scan rooms and uh, in the cath labs and this would protect the public from the hazard of the harmful radiations the next is overhauser magnetometer so far india was mag uh, importing these magnetometer so india's dependence was high and also under the institute of geomagnetism this has been an effort where the sensors have been established at alibag magnetometer observatory and this is where the geomagnetic field studies could now be done and this would be one of the important landmarks of india's make in india development as well so so far we have seen that the new buildings which are built have been designed with earthquake resistant building codes however what about the settlements which are already there so to develop that a non um, a kind of semi confined unreinforced brick masonry is used and that is to prevent the major damages that could occur to life and property in the old settlements the recent um, devastation in turkey is a very good example to understand the importance of this technology the next is hydrogen free low carbon desulfurization process for crude oil now crude oil as per the uh, indian institute for petroleum says that basically uh, uh, has announced this technology but the idea is so far there is lot of sulfur containing heterocyclic aromatic compounds which are released now these corrode the surface and therefore uh, they are uh, leading to more expense and more uh, carbon footprints to reduce this 
This hydrogen free low carbon desulfurization method would prove to be a good alternative. To improve the cancer treatment, gold nanoparticles are now used and through selective generation of reactive oxygen species, this can be used for betterment. The next is hydrogen valley platform. Now hydrogen valley is a geographical area, a cluster where various hydrogen technologies are brought together, electrolyzers are brought, low carbon hydrogen technologies are brought. So this platform would come into three steps. One would be less than 5000 tons of renewable energy production. The second would be more than 5000 tons of renewable energy production. And the third phase would involve low carbon hydrogen technology. So all of these three stages would be initiated one by one. Servavac is one of the vaccines which has been developed indigenously for cervical vaccine. And this has been uh, brought with light with the human papilloma virus. Uh, the cases have been extremely high and it is believed that one fourth of the cervical deaths are preventable and uh, India has nearly uh, 1.25 women who have been 1.25 lakh women who have been diagnosed of cervical cancer. The next is an interesting concept about night sky century. Night sky century and dark sky reserve. Both of these are the concepts which have been laid down in Ladakh as part of the astro tourism. The idea is using gamma ray telescope, optical telescope uh, and uh, infrared telescope. Night sky could be observed from the Changthang wildlife century and this would boost tourism in the region of Ladakh. Now along with tourism in the region of Ladakh, some of the other developments here is Lehaberi. Uh, the Sanjeevni Bhuti, which we studied in our uh, epics, uh, is called Sola locally and is useful as herbal uh, medicine. Also, Leather Research Institute is working with Pashmina goats, yak and sheep for development of leather and developing that industry in another dimension. The next is Saras Radio Telescope. Saras is a spaced antenna measurement of background radio spectrum 3. Now, this radio telescope is one of its unique in its kind built by Raman Research Institute, Bangalore, uh, along with the Commonwealth Science and Industrial Research Organization, Australia, University of Cambridge. University of Tel Aviv, Israel and together they have come up to understand the energy output luminosity and mass of the first generation galaxies that are bright in the radio wavelengths. So study of that has been brought possible through the Saras radio telescope being built by the Raman Research Institute. So those were some of the topics that we have discovered in this section. In the next section we will continue with the major discoveries of science and technology and uh, this is a very important topic because there were numerous questions last time in your prelims from science and technology recent developments so prepare these well study these well have a wonderful day ahead